here's to all the tough girls and here's to all the sensitive boys we belong here's to all This place was sheer hell. Every day when the bus stopped and I walked to that door, to my locker, became eight hours of pure hell. I got pushed up against the railing on the stairs right through here when I'd have to go the, pat, the uh, hallway right next to the staircase going upstairs back to my science class. I'd walk through there and seniors would come up and it hit me and I'd slam up against the metal railing and I'd drop all my stuff. They'd have like wet paper towels and they'd flick them at me and stuff and say I was a faggot, and queer and dumb stuff, but nothing really ever physically happened that bad until March 23rd. Here's to all misfits. We belong. Here's to all the brain. In order to graduate, you have to do a senior project. And a big thing in our school is to do video documentaries of stuff. So after I endured all this stuff, I told my, my teacher that I wanted to do one on discrimination against gays in our school because there's teachers and everybody, coaches, just turning a blind eye and a deaf ear to everything that's being said and seen in the halls. She said I'd have to talk to the principal about it. So when I went down to the guidance office to talk to the principal about it, he had a canary. He flipped out and said that I could, couldn't do anything that had anything to do with negative things on our school or in our community. I could do an overview of discrimination in general, but not on our little town, not on our little school. After the school said that I couldn't make the documentary for my senior project, I figured that it was too much of an important issue and they couldn't stop me from making the film for my own personal reasons. So one of my first interviews for my film was down the road in this town called Titusville, not too far away, of this kid named Tim Dow who went through a lot of the same things at Titusville High School that I went through at Franklin High School. I was beat up, pushed downstairs, harassed, food thrown at me, clothes taken from me in gym class, put in the locker pushed down flights of steps, you name it, I went through it, all because I'm gay. And then one day I was walking down the hall and two guys had one pizza in one hand and pizza in the other hand and they like smashed them against my face and smeared them all over my white clothes, I'm laughing the whole time, promising they'll see me in the schoolyard after school to finish what they started. And I started skipping. It breaks my heart, I mean I could just cry to know what this young man has gone through and that there are other kids out there going through similar situations. None of this should ever happen. You know, they weren't put on this earth to be tortured like this. Three unknown kids who I don't, I have no idea who it was, they pushed me from my back from the top of the steps and I fell to the first landing and that would, die fag, we don't want your kind in our school. That was the last straw when my mom finally withdrew me from this school and we started legal proceedings. We were in that courtroom all day. Oh my god, it was, days on end. It was miserable. But I wasn't going to let them get away with this. Right, and I wanted right. the next kid protected. No, no one else should ever go through this. No. I don't care whether you're gay, you're black, you're white, you're Chinese. Nobody you're deserves heavy, it. You're you don't have the right clothes, you right. wear braces, you wear glasses. It didn't matter. We were fighting for all kids. I live in a small-minded community. I, I'm, I was small-minded, too. I grew up that way. All right, and what really irritates me is the fact that I used to go out of my way to actually cause bodily harm to gay people, okay? Uh, we used to use it like a sport, you know? I mean, it was stupid. And then when you came out of the closet and told me that you were gay, I thought, oh, no, 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 you can't be. So then I got to thinking, that gay kid's yours.
You gonna you gonna disown him because of his sexual orientation, or are you gonna love him for who he is inside? And I thought, hell with it. I'm gonna love him for who he is inside. All right. And I put aside everything that I grew up with. Over 40 years of feeling that way, I felt. And I tell you what, you try to shed 40 years of hatred overnight. It's just not done. It's something you gotta learn how to live with, deal with, and you gotta be sincere. I mean, he's my kid. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn my back on him. I won't. I will never turn my back on him. I I get to eat. All See right. you guys later. Thanks, man. Right. Yep. It was March 23rd, 2006. I went into the locker room, I got changed, and uh, I had to go to the stall to go to the restroom, and I heard um, a bunch of seniors go around the stall, and they said, I'll give $5 to whoever can smear the queer. And then they started taking big rolls of brown paper towels, soaking them in water, and bombarding them over the stall at me. I went down to the office to talk to my guidance counselor, because all I wanted to do was talk to my mom and go home. When I went up to the office, they said that I was the troublemaker and they called the state police. The state police came to the office, didn't listen to anything I said, they handcuffed me and arrested me for disorderly conduct. My mom was so fed up and I was so fed up and disgusted about what the school was allowing to happen that she had the idea to go take it up a notch, go to the school board meeting and confront the school board and I wanted to confront Forrester in front of all these people and ask him why did you have me put in handcuffs and allow those other students to go back to class. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, my name's. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> my name's Kathy Springer. I have a question about. Have you implemented, or are you going to implement, a change into how uh, discrimination is handled in the school district? I recently had to pull my son out because of discrimination and how it was handled. Are you? Oh, yes, it is. Um, is there a better way of handling things? Ma'am, do me a favor. Will you give me a call, okay? This isn't the time to. I just, the as a taxpayer, back. wanted to know if, you know, should I decide to send my son back or are there going to be any changes? That's all. There have been discussions taking place and there have been issues not only with myself and Mr. Richmond, Mr. Forrester, Mr. Veneta, and the other principal. So, uh, I don't know if that, but please, feel free to give me a call. You've called me in the past and we've talked mm -hmm. about the problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what happened? Mr. Forrester. Mr. Forrester. Could I have a moment of your time? Um, I, I'm asking not to videotape. is I would love for it to be in schools. You go to health class, you see movies, don't smoke, don't chew. You see movies in health class, don't do drugs, don't beat on your wife, don't drink alcohol. Well, I want one that says, well, don't be a homophobe. I truly do think that homophobia could be erased through education. Because you're not born homophobic, you're taught it. And where do you, where's the best place to learn? School. So yeah. It's one place I'd love for it to be. Here's to all the outspoken minor.
authorities And here's to those who chose diversity